Okay. Here we are. I am going to do my best to give you all the information you need so that you can see that what I'm experiencing is playable and fine. So this is the virtual desktop app that I've installed on my quest and already launched. And I've got the virtual desktop streamer app uh, installed onto the cloud computer, you know, which runs all the time. As soon as the computer turns on, it runs. And when you put in the information uh, that it needs, it links the app from your headset to that computer. Easy peasy, just like you were using a um, team viewer or some, you know, computer controlling app. It's a similar concept, except you're just viewing and controlling it with your headset. So, um, I've got that running. I'm going to resume. Yeah, I'm in my computers. Um, on the Reddit post, I showed you that it, I would launch it from my phone. Also launch it from any Windows or Mac computer as well. You know, as long as it can run the app. You know, the Shadow PC app. I have a laptop. You know, I think it's 2012 or something like that. And, um... It has 10 on it, so launch that up, run the Shadow app from there, and I can connect that locally if I want to run some videos or something, play, you know, watch 3D movies. I can, you know, just run my local machine. Um, but I run the VR gaming, my cloud PC, I got it right here. Um, and I've already got the app, the Shadow app running on here, so I'm just going to bounce right into the cloud PC now. Well, I'm going to, I don't know if you can see, you know, the bottom, um, again, my main reason for not posting what you guys were asking for is because I scarcely know how it's that information. Um, but I'm just going to click on these settings so you can see what everything is set to. These are the games you'll see when you are connected computers. These are just the environments to a desk. I prefer the gaming room because it gives you a nice game to see to stare at with dynamic lighting while you're watching a movie. It's pretty neat. So, look at the cloud PC. Immediately launch Steam VR. Text it running on that uh, computer. I'm going to give it a moment and it should show me the desktop. There we go. So now you can see that I'm connected. It's it's ran Steam when it launched. So I'm going to close that. Um, so I've got Steam running, you know, the NVIDIA crap, the virtual desktop streamer, and Defender, you know. These are the, this is the VR content that I've installed so far from Steam. I, you know, I usually do VR chat. And I know what you guys are saying, you know, what I showed you, and I linked my Twitch, um, Teddy Fuxpin, F-U-X-P-I-N, it's a play on Teddy Ruxpin from the 80s, but I played a little No Man's Sky and a bunch of VR chat, uh, and in the certain world of VR chat, Spider Lair, the, you can tell the latency as soon as you, as soon as you fire your webs, you know, because it's t supposed to be instant. But sometimes if there's bad latency and you fire a web, you know, and so you're falling and a tall building is in front of you and you fire your web, if it doesn't instantly shoot it, you might fall to the ground, you know. So you know right away if there's bad ping in there. And I do get that sometimes, but it's in short bursts and rare. And it's typically because, you know, there's streaming going on in my house. You know, there's a ton of devices in here on a just a Cox gateway. So, you know, you know, Half-Life Alex, I've tested and it runs great. I'm just going to boot up Steam VR here. And the virtual they want you to games from um here, 
because it maximizes ability. Sorry, I'm just fan. So let's see, Half-Life, I thought I, yeah, I got Alex up. Let's just boot up Alex so we can see what that looks like. Sorry, I, the first time set up. So regarding what you're asking in terms of this, the metrics, somebody mentioned an app called, um, FPS R sorry, uh, Steam VR just launched. So this is booting up Half Life Alex. I want to see if I can, you know, check out my web browser while that's doing its thing. I can't sing the praises of virtual desktop enough. It's the penultimate app for media consumption. Okay, it sounds like we're, ba we're back with Half-Life Alex, so I'm going to jump in there. So... From my I, and again, I hear your what you're saying about compression, artifacting, latency, ping. But I just and I've had a very nice uh, gaming rig before I had to get rid of it, pawn it, if you must know. Um, and so I know what what it's supposed to look like and feel like. You know that that rig played everything. It was a very nice machine. Um, so obviously it's telling us it's reverted our settings here to a recommended level but as far as what you're saying about artifacting like this looks like it did when I had it hooked up to my local rig that's all I can tell you you know what I mean I don't see a difference in that regard um, I'm just gonna jump in here for a few I haven't played much of this at all, and uh, I've been keeping it on the back burner because I've heard of how great it is. Um, so I've been saving it and trying everything else that I can until I can just come back and just really immerse myself in this. So, you know, this is Half-Life Alex, and I know, it, again, you're, you're talking about, oh, play a high response game, Alex. like, uh, Alex, the signal's back. Can you hear me? Are you okay? Beat Saber. Russell, I'm good. I don't play Beat Saber. Dad. So, I've got him on the train. He's on the move. I just, I got to find the junction before they get there. I'm working on it. You know, I, I, this is very responsive to me. Forgive me, I haven't played much. Okay, that's right. <clears throat> this is an incredible game. But, you know, I didn't, we didn't need to go, you know, there's just, it's fine, it's running fine. Typical stuttering that I would expect from a, a run-of-the-mill gaming rig, but nothing like that points directly to it being a sh cloud computer. You know, the this service has a, a power upgrade, as they call it, which turns it even more into a gaming rig for, for forty-five dollars a month instead of the thirty dollars a month. But this is the normal. You know, thirty dollars a month one, and I'm running Half Life Alex. You know what I mean? Without a, owning a computer, so I'm just gonna bounce out.
um, let's exit VR for now. So I thought I had No Man's Sky installed on here, but I think I had to get it cleared out. Nope, there it is. Okay. I showed you guys that on my Twitch stream, you know. You can go back to my Twitch at Teddy Fuckspin and look up, and that's... T-E-D-D-Y-F-U-X-P-I-N and you can see the video I posted there with No Man's Sky again with no issues and then there's what I like to play a lot that's VR chat you know so as far as you guys you keep referencing Beat Saber and you know like while I understand it's just not a game that I play so and for the record I do um uh Star Wars um Vader sorry Vader Immortal the dojo and that's decently high um demand for response and it works great you know the swinging of paper the shooting of the ears it's all fine like kind of games that would require this huge like a beat le saber level of response and i just um i can't think of one you know what i mean like i just don't know what else i would need in terms of response like skyrim vr and no man's sky vr are like gigantic awesome you know rich experiences and they play fine so i don't know what to say you know it's all I need. <clears throat> well, you, on my Twitch, there's plenty of VR chat showing you that it works as well, so there's no need for you to record any of this. Um, I just, you know, I hope that this gives you at least some insight into what I'm seeing and to how it works just fine for me. Let me know if there's any more data I can provide.